Let's go for a little drive around the block. <laughs> hey, yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. This is Dash. Just try not to hit my car. So one of the things I need to address right away is uh, the transmission seems to be a little sticky once co or when cold, which can be attributed to fluid. Um, I drove it, obviously I drove it home, and when I drove it home, after driving it for a while, it, it shifted fine. Now, can you hear that? I don't know if that's the drive shaft or a hub, but it sounds like it's coming from the driver's side rear. That right there. It doesn't stop when braking, so that kind of leads me to believe that it might be a bearing. Whoops. That was just one of those, those racks. It fell over. So, like I said, if you can, you can hear it. Hopefully, it's getting picked up by the mic on the uh, camera. Oh, and it didn't pass here. Let me get around you. I'll get around so this car can go up the street. So far, so good, though. Like I said, I got the van for steel. 153,000 miles on it. I knew it was going to need some work and I'm already hearing things that I need to, to take care of. So I'm going to take a, we're going to go out a little further. But it has all the typical diesel van or diesel diesel sounds. rolled into it and that was that was 40 so we definitely have <laughs> we do not have a uh, speed queen here what seems like it's a good honest vehicle I'm hoping at least and there again is that noise like I said I think it might be a but See, what leads me, what leads me to believe that it's something drive shaft related is because when I'm on the throttle, I don't hear it near as much. Actually, maybe it's an, I don't think it's an axle. Something in the rear end is awry.
but she sounds good like I said and I'm going to turn around and head on back home is soup so as opposed to risking uh, getting the van stuck we're just not gonna take it down there so I'm almost back home and uh, I'm gonna get the van put in the driveway but actually before I do that I'm gonna go we're gonna park and we can walk around it and break put the truck in the park and we're not moving anywhere like I was saying earlier I do believe or I'm hoping that this is a, a good honest uh, I'm gonna say truck good honest van I'm really excited about this purchase in case you couldn't already tell uh, I am still working on Santa I don't know next steps are what they are uh, in the last video, I talked to you guys about having to get it inspected, and uh, that's the first step. I have to get it inspected within 30 days. So once I get it inspected, I'll uncover the first round of uh, major money that I'm going to have to uh, spend out or put out to get this thing 100% registered. Again, it is registered and insured, but in Maryland, you don't have to. Uh, you can get a get a 30-day temporary registration so that's what I did if you guys want to see more around or in and or around the van let me know in a comment down below and uh, when it's nicer out I will uh, do a quick not a quick a more thorough walkthrough the van is definitely gonna need to be cleaned out it it uh, from what I understand from what the guy told me he told me his uncle had a pool service that uh, they replaced and upgraded the vehicles and this was one of the vehicles in their fleet that, that, that was replaced. He showed me pictures of the bottom of the, or the back of the van, it was completely covered in mud and it seems like he just hosed it out. It still smells a little wet in here, but you know, on a nice sunny day, I'll open the thing up and hopefully dry it out. And uh, I am, I, I'm over the moon. I'm so happy, I'm, I'm, I'm the potential for things that this will allow me to do, not only around my house, but just in general with my business, I am, I'm looking forward to it. So if you, uh, I would like for you to, if you haven't already, please do subscribe and uh, follow along on this journey with uh, my new van. It needs, a, it needs a name. So it's a big white van, you know, uh, 
help me figure out a name. Leave a comment down below with what you think I should name this thing. So, uh, I think that's it, for real this time. Thank you again as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Leave a thumbs up if you learned something or like what you saw in the video. And uh, I wouldn't be opposed to you sharing it and show someone else and bring them aboard, alright? I'll see you next time.